All right. So uh, I have to start this talk off with a little bit of a faux pas. I have to mention another conference. I love DevOps days, and I am super psyched anytime I can get to them. But if you ever have a craving for donuts and Stats D, I totally recommend Monodorama in Portland. Uh, so it's not a, okay. Monodorama in Portland uh, is uh, a monitoring conference. I wasn't able to go this year, and so I kind of had to live vicariously through other people's tweets. And this tweet in particular kind of stuck in my head for a little bit. We have all these ops ghost stories about read-only Fridays and uh, 3 a.m. is the witching. There was a slide today about three getting paged at 3 a.m. And the, you know what else is being on the weekend is terribly on call then. And I realized I kind of work for an employer that might be able to dispel some of these myths. So I dug in, and I am not a data scientist, so I just dug into our data analytics warehouse, and I probably made a whole bunch of mistakes. But I started to face, look at our notification volume and try to, try to figure out, OK, this people are in this time zone. If I kind of shift this over this way and I slide this over this way, can I get what it looks like on a daily basis? And it turns out that read-only Friday, not really a thing. Uh, you know, it, there's a whole bunch of notifications. Oh, by the way, we have former Netflix engineers, so you'll notice all of our metrics accidentally lose their y-axis a lot. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and so you can see, though, oh, yeah. You can see the, uh, uh, that the weekends, though, are still pretty terrible. It's not a great experience. But what we really want to know is, what about on an hourly basis? When we start bucketing our notifications into hours, is there really a problem at 3 a.m.? Now, go right to left. Apparently, people do break things more after dinner. And then you have kind of the daily peaks and valleys of you know lunchtime. And then I swear this is not this is true data. There really is weirdly something at 3 a.m. I I was like ah oh, cool myth myth busted. Wait no it's not busted. And so all of a sudden now I have this problem. Uh, is this like why is this happening? But you'll also notice something kind of really ugly that the difference between the you know day and nighttime and just the overall. Notifi number of notifications people get per hour is truly terrible. And it's like, this is a terrible experience for anybody to have to go through. And this is no wonder why everybody hates being on call. This kills the on-call engineer. And so what can you do? I'm like, OK, I've just proven that 3 AM is a thing. What do I do to help people try to not be on call at 3 AM? Because how do I end this talk? And I realized, OK, I'm going to try to arm you with two tools in a two-minute Ignite to figure out how you can have a better on-call experience. So I'm going to give you two things to take to your own organizations. Please take them back and make your on-call life better. Uh, the first is a thing you can look at for anything that asks for human attention. And make sure that it is always immediately human actionable. I'll break this down in all three. It should always meet all three. This is kind of a rough metric. But the first thing is it's immediate, immediately. right? That if you have an alert or an alarm or an incident, and it's on staging and it's at 3 AM, you don't need to be waking people up then, unless you have developers who are on staging at 3 a.m. But make sure that you should be doing something with it immediately. Otherwise, don't be asking for human attention. Second, when you say human attention, humans are flexible. Humans work best with ad hoc technologies and doing things only once or one-offs. Don't have the everything's OK alarm, that, that one thing, that, that cron job that has to get reset at 3 a.m. every morning. Don't have the humans do that. Instead, automate it and put it in code. Finally, make sure it's actionable. When you actually say, OK, I need something to pay, I need a human to pay attention to this, make sure you're providing context, preferably <laughs> business context. I don't care if some server's pegged at 100% CPU, but I do care that order volume's down 20%. And finally, when you, the second thing to take back to your organizations is review your alerts, review your instance, review anything that can ask for human attention. We always add new things when we add new services. Get rid of old things. Get rid of things that are never triggered. They aren't needed. Trust me, you'll still find out about it. What about the unicorns, though? Right? So clearly, they do better practices. And I can't name names because their lawyers wouldn't turn me into a smoking crater. But they're probably better, right? They don't have a 3 a.m. problem. There's no way that they would implement all these great practices and then still have a <sighs> There really is a thing at 3 a.m. And I, I, I dug into this, and I was like, OK, this data is still 3 a.m. having a problem. But you'll notice that the rest of it, you see more of a normal during working hours sort of things breaking and people being called. And so this is the difference between, you know, maybe if you want to call it average industry practices and best practices. And so, again, I, I implore all of you, if you take one thing away from this talk, apparently it is that 3 a.m. might actually be a thing, but also that you can take away immediately human actionable and review your alerts. <laughs> I'm happy to have arguments about scientific data on Twitter. Thanks.